Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. This is your weekly horoscope for the week starting Monday the 12th of December going through until Sunday the 18th of December. It's really nice to be with you today. Now, my horoscopes as always are based on Greenwich Mean Time, which is UK time. So if you're outside of Europe, then please take that into account. Now, this is really a sensational week. I looked at this and it looks absolutely tremendous and wonderful and amazing, really, really good. Now, on Monday the 12th of December to start with, the moon goes into Gemini at 12.42 p.m. The sun is in Sagittarius and it trines Uranus and Aries, and this is the second time this year that it's doing that. It's a big deal. If you think of the sun as energy and fire and really what gets you going, and then Uranus and Aries, this rebel, kind of saying, go and do it your own way. Don't let nothing stand in your way. It's really a wonderful indicator of great energy and great drive and great passion. On the same day, we've got the moon in Gemini and that trines Venus in Aquarius and it squares Neptune in, Aqu in Pisces. So this is really a fabulous day to shake things up with energy and drive. And the important thing is that once you've done shaking things up, you get a positive result at the end. So something good comes out of all of this drive and movement and uh, getting things sorted out. It's going to work in your favor. Now, Tuesday the 13th of December, we've got the moon still in Gemini. It trines Mars in Aquarius now, which it's been for the last couple of weeks, Mars in Aquarius. And it's given a lot of us great drive and the ability to communicate and to meet up with other people and to chat. Now, this moon in Gemini also opposes the sun in Sagittarius, so more fire. So for Tuesday the 13th, expect high energy and high productivity. Nothing is going to stand in your way. And that's not in a confrontational, mean, awful way. It just means that things come together and you can move forward and you can make them work. On Wednesday the 14th of December, we have the full moon in Gemini at 7 minutes past midnight. Now, I've made a separate video on the full moon in Gemini. If you'd like in-depth information about that, then have a look at that video. But as far as this week is concerned, this full moon is a super moon. So it's closer to the Earth than a regular moon would be. So it has a greater influence. Plus, it's the last full moon of the year. So this moon then also trines Mars in Aquarius. And once it's done its full moon bit, it goes into Cancer at 12.10 p.m. So this is really a time for celebration and gratitude. This supermoon is going to be all about positivity and future options, being grateful for the good things that you've got in your life now, celebrating the end of the year, looking ahead and seeing, oh my God, I've got all this good stuff going on for myself. What am I going to achieve in 2017? And it's a really nice start to the kind of new year. We're kind of easing into this new year on a really positive note. And it means that the start of 2017 is going to be fabulous. Now on Thursday, the 15th of December, we've got the moon in Cancer opposing Mercury in Capricorn, and it squares Jupiter in Libra, and it squares the rebel Uranus in Aries. So on this day, slight shift of gears, but still really, really positive. You're super, super in touch with your own intuition, and you're going to be feeling highly creative. So this is a wonderful day to express yourself. However you do that, whether you sing or you dance or you paint or you write, it's a wonderful day to do that. So put some time aside for yourself. You're really going to be fulfilled by the, the, the work that you do. Now on Friday, the 16th of December, we've got the moon going into Leo at 16 minutes past one in the afternoon. And the moon in Leo is even more fiery and passionate and creative. Then we've also got this moon in Leo quincuxing Neptune in Pisces. And that's really imagination and the dream. So on Friday, the 16th, there's going to be loads of optimism floating around in the universe. And there will be the desire for you to kind of perform and to be in the spotlight and to put yourself center stage so other people are looking at you in some way. So that's whether you're making jokes at a dinner party and just being entertaining and fun, or whether you're singing a cappella in a club somewhere, you'll really want to be seen. There's, there's a real sense of confidence and positivity and I've got something good to offer. I've got something to share with other people. Why not do that? So you're feeling really uninhibited and liberated and out there this week. It's really, really great. Now on Saturday, the 17th of December, we've got the moon in Leo still, and that opposes Venus in Aquarius. 
It sextiles Jupiter in Libra and it quincuxes Mercury in Capricorn. So we've got a lot going on there. And Saturday is a fabulous day for relationships, especially romantic ones. So all of these elements come together to really allow you to connect very well, to laugh, to enjoy each other's company and just to have a great time with each other. So if you are in a relationship or you're planning a date, do it on Saturday. It's really going to go so well. Everything kind of conspires to bring you together with another person. Sunday the 18th is also very positive. The whole week is truly sensational. And on Sunday, we've got the moon going into Virgo at um, 5.53 in the evening. And the moon also opposes Mars in Aquarius. So this is a great day for um, a day out, making plans to go somewhere. You'll be very able to kind of sort out the practical details, but beyond that, you'll also be able to have fun and once the planning is done to just enjoy yourself. So it looks like an absolutely amazing week. I hope you have a wonderful time. It's so nice to have this kind of week at the end of the year here in the build up to Christmas where there's so much going on and there's stress everywhere. To just be able to have fun and to enjoy yourself and to celebrate and to be grateful, it's really, really so great. I'm looking forward to this week. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. It's the easiest way to support me. I really appreciate it. Um, I will be with you for the daily tower readings here on the channel. These weekly horoscopes, the monthly horoscopes for each sign of the zodiac, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius. And I will speak to you soon.